James Melendez, James the Wine Guy. Stay tuned for a review of this beautiful Pedro Jimenez Sherry. Stay tuned. I love Pedro Jimenez wines uh, from Sherry or Vino Jerez. Uh, fantastic wine here. So what we have is called El Maestro Tierra and uh, founded in 1830. Uh, low alcohol point actually, 15% uh, ABV. And I'll read a little bit of this copy here in case you can't see that. It's uh, natural sweet wine aged in American oak casks. So uh, back panel for your inspection right here. They're very familiar. Jerez, Sherez, and Sherry. Uh, DOC certification here and uh, for me it's a love affair. I think this is a fantastic wine and uh, obviously the sweetest of all the sherries. And from this you get this uh, beautiful coloration here. Now in other sherries it can be even darker and I think that's the sign that all sherries are not the same. And uh, I know it's hard to imagine and even Pedro Jimenez, it's not just about sweet, sweet, sweet. It's about uh, complexity and beauty and a very compelling stellar dessert wine and uh, some people put this on ice cream. I think it's a mistake and I'm not sure why people, uh, anybody would do that, but they do. Uh, for me, it's to enjoy on its own. I think the uh, nuances and characteristics of this specific grape, the Pedro Jimenez, the namesake of the wine style itself is uh, particularly beautiful. So in other sherry styles, you're gonna use a Palomino grape. And uh, for me, I think this is a really great way of uh, celebrating the evening, closing the evening out and highlighting uh, the gorgeous meal that you probably just had. And uh, I think, uh, first of all, I love this glass. I don't have many of these. I can't find any more of them. I got to find more uh, to serve uh, sherry in like this. Uh, it's a really nice format and a nice way to measure your pour. On this, I'm getting characteristic notes of clove, baked apples and pears. Additional notes of a delicate hint of uh, brown sugar, and uh, honeysuckle next is the flavor characterization, then the point score. Mm. Beautiful weight and feel to this wine. The texture is absolutely sublime. And uh, the characterization is, again, it's not just about pure sweetness, it's about uh, delicacy as well as a complexity to this wine. So notes on this wine include truffled honey, seared pear and Turkish fig, hint of smoke, and cardamom and a bit of clove as well. So wine is a 9.4 out of my 10.0 scale. Think of this as 94 points out of 100 points. Now, I do wanna show you one other feature on the back label here. I really do like how they put when this was um, bottled. So it's uh, December, 2013. Why that's important is uh, I'm not sure when the Solera begins on this, um, but I think it's a great way of saying, okay, here's when this was actually bottled. And uh, because I think on a non-vintage, it actually, for me, I really would like to know when this is put in the bottle. Uh, obviously, you don't get that in non-vintage wines or sherry or uh, most sherries or even uh, champagne. But I think it's a really great thing. And I love to see this practice done because I think it is important, at least to put a frame or a reference point. Was this bottle 10 years ago or was it bottled three years ago or two years ago? It's nice to know. So do me a favor, give a like to this video, share this video, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. List your favorite sherry wines down below. I'd love to know your uh, favorite Pedro Jimenez, if you have any, and uh, any suggestions or comments you have, I welcome that as well. And you can also do that on the social medias I participate in, which is Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Plus, Pinterest, LinkedIn, as well as Instagram and WordPress. Thank you again for watching me today. Stay tuned for more. Salud.